This is Dabu7. We have NASA announcing five more objects heading this way. It's beginning to sound like a stuck record. Week after week after week now, going only like five or six times in a row, they have announced that five are coming through. It's always five. You've heard me say this time and time again already. Now they're saying four of which are 50 meters in diameter. And they're saying they have also picked up 19 space rocks that are interstellar. And those are interesting in their own right because when the very first one came through that they said it was the first time they ever tracked an interstellar object in our atmosphere, the name that they gave it meant Scout. And then they said that it was shiny, it was metallic in nature, it picked up speed after it went by here. They were referencing alien civilization over and over again, hinting at all this stuff. And then they rolled out the whole Space Force thing. And here they just keep on with this five a week. Like this week, five more. I can't help but think that there may be something hidden within there. But these objects coming in that are interstellar are classified as centaurs. They go on to give some information here on them, but then they talk about the objects that are coming in here for a close shave. And many of them coming in a few million miles out except for one. It's going to actually only be 486,000 miles, the size of a house, and it's coming through on July 22nd. So we'll put a fireball watch into effect between now and then because when these objects come within Earth and the moon, there's a chance that anything, any debris with them could potentially send something our way. And we see an uptick of fireballs during these time frames. Here is a look real quick at NeoWise. Those that were able to catch a shot of this, it's been in the evening skies here recently. It's starting to dim. But if you have the viewpoint and you have the right equipment, you can catch some spectacular shots out there as we've seen. This is another one from over on Space Weather. I will leave links below so you guys can check all this stuff out. And also, make sure to join me over on DLive. Exclusive live streams that you're only going to find over here. Going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week, 9 p.m. Eastern. You'll find links below in the description box. Much love and eyes to the skies.